Hello and welcome. So today something a little bit different. I know I've done it several times before but I'm actually going to do an abstract landscape with cup paws. So kind of thinking about the colours you put in the cup as you put them into how you kind of want your abstract landscape but um Sometimes it's just a little dip, a lucky dip to make them out how you envisaged and may not. So I've got these little cups and I'm going to start to load my colours in the cups how I think I want them to um, turn out on the canvas. Um, and as you probably realise, like the first colour that you put into your cups will be the last colour out of the cups because when you flip it over unless you're actually pouring the cups yourself so that's just a little bit of useless information but anyway on we go so what I've added there is just some white it's all the global paint mixed with my pouring medium which is in the recipe uh, in the drop down box underneath my videos so I've poured white and I've poured wicker yellow and this is a custom um metallic blue that i mixed which was uh, white phalo blue and silver so it left that lovely um metallic now back to the white again so i'm just gonna continue this loading my little flip cups now that one's the cool blue or phalo blue it's called in very similar um and just continue on loading my cups and I'll just jump in where I feel I need to. But this was quite a nice therapeutic, calming uh, experience I found. That one is um, turquoise mixed with a lot of blue, uh, white, I think. Or unless it was a... I can't remember because they were all colours that I'd had sitting there and done different pours with. I think it was... It, um, yeah just a pale blue and that one is the cool red put some um, maybe hopefully that sort of ends up in my sky part of the abstract landscape part So I've got some lovely champagne gold, which is a colour I just custom make, um, which is a 50% gold, 50% silver. And I have added some turquoise in there, as you can see that I added previously. So um, this is um, burnt umber with a bit of silver in it and a little bit of black to send it a little bit darker so that was just a little bit in there and then i will what am i doing here oh i'm going to add a little bit more of the wick up to this obviously i felt that i needed to Just putting what's left in my burnt umber cup um, on the bottom. Uh, kind of remember this will be upside down for you guys. Um, I'm not that clever to do it. Um, so it's facing you the right way and me the wrong way. But um, and then I'm just going to just just sort of set, set myself up for how I envisage this turning out. So I'm going to just put that on there and using the offset spatula.
and they're flipping cups. It's the exciting part because you never know what you're going to get. So um, let's just pull those cups out, flip and lip and um, see how we go with this. The exciting part I find and interesting. Just the gentle tilt now, trying to get sort of the colours where I want them to go and to look like uh, that it's going to be a landscape, an abstract landscape. So um, I do actually like the colours and the way this was turning out. I did, I think next time I'm not going to um, mess too much with my actual tilt afterwards. using a little bit of um, soft plastic file divider to do some swipes but if I had that time again I think I wouldn't even swipe it because that was quite nice as it was I could still do my further detail on that without the swipe so you know personally for me I wish that I hadn't have gone on and done the swipes but You'll see how I go on to further um, add detail to it even after it's dry. Okay, I am adding some further embellishments with the paddle pop. Um, some sort of branches, some sort of shadowed branches there just to give it some uh, depth and um, definition, I guess. And then um, I will continue with those after the piece is dry to sort of just make them a little bit um, more detailed, I guess. So you can basically, you know, go for it and just do anything. So, all righty, I do think I overworked it. I probably should have left lots of things in that I swiped over. Live and learn. I will try again and get something more detailed. I do add some further embellishments here, um, sort of creating like a fence line, like a country type fence line. But again, when this is dry, I will go over those pieces and, and define them more because the wet paint is just um, not giving enough detail. But it was nice fiddling. It was just really nice just um, being quiet on my own and then, you know, having a play with this. And you'll see that at the end, I was quite pleased with how it turns out. So I really hope that you give this a go it's just an easy abstract um, landscape lots of people are doing them and have certainly done them for years and years so it is fun to try as you know we we give everything a go on this channel so there you go So this is all I will do now till it's fully dried and uh, I will add the photos of just the um, dried embellishments so you will see them now um, in the photo app of them hanging on the wall. See I just added a bit more like embellishment to the rocks and to the fencing and I did put a few birds in the sky as you see there so I was quite happy with that I put a little bit of a, a moon um yeah I thought it was sweet my husband really liked it so there you go I've given it as a gift to him 
Okay, my lovelies, please take care and I will be back tomorrow. Bye for now.